first edition of the Davidson High School football team. Kick off 
by Julian Brown. Number 12, Mark Pickett took that kickoff return for the Cardinals, nearly broke it for a touchdown. He was tackled by number 76, James Whitlow, for the Buccaneers, first and 10 for Davison from their own 47-yard line. Number 17, the quarterback, Todd Sweener, keeps the ball, goes around left end. Pick up of about three yards on that play, make it second down. Seven yards to go for the Cardinals. Now in Buccaneer territory on the Buccaneer 49-yard line. Pitch out by Sweener, the quarterback, to number 41, Roy Hall. No gain on the play as a nice tackle was made by number seven cornerback Sam Wesley. Third down now, seven yards to go for the Cardinals. Defensive tackle. Crossing Lucha flag Lucha. before the play gets underway. The tackle on this side. Time stop with 10:41 here to go in the first quarter. This side. Offside penalty against the Buccaneers will cost them five yards. Whoever the tackle is, that's what it was. He was moving around and jumping up his back. Makes it third down now and two yards to go for the Cardinals. Much easier task for them on this third down play. Hand off to number 32, the fullback John Delage. He's tackled by number 70 for the Buccaneers, Ernest Stewart. But the Cardinals pick up the first down on that play. The ball resting on about the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Cardinal offensive team. Quarterback Todd Sweener. His pass fell incomplete on that play, stopping the clock at 10-19. Brings up a second down and still 10 yards to go for Davison. Dan Delage, number 23, carried the ball for Davison. Number 76, James Whitlow, number 70, Ernest Stewart made the stop for the Buccaneers. Pick up seven yards on that play, on that run by Delage. That makes it third down and about three yards to go for the first down. Once again gets the ball and he is met by number 70, Ernest Stewart. Pick up with two yards on that play. Credit Ernest Stewart, number 70, with the toughest tackle we've seen in this ball game so far. I believe number 76, Whitlow, made the initial hit. Fourth down. Pitch out to number 41, Roy Hall. He tried going around left end, and number seven, Sam Wesley, made a beautiful defensive play, but we've got a face mask penalty being called against the Buccaneers that will likely give the Cardinals enough yardage for the first down. Yes, yes, yes. 
That'll cost the Bucks 15 big ones. That ball is now resting at about the 15-yard line of the Buccaneers. Penalties costing the Buccaneers dearly here in the first quarter. First and 10 for the Cardinals from the Buccaneer 15-yard line. Sweeney, the quarterback, kept that time after faking the handoff. Pick up little yardage. Credit that feature up defensive line. 76 Whitlow, 62 Sean Houston, 82 William Anderson with some nice defensive work. Controlling the line. Shit, I'm making a fucking mistake. For 26, Ron Packnett made the defensive tackle for the Buccaneers. Pick up about three yards on that play. Make it third down now and about six yards to go for that first down. Big third down play here. Quarterback, Todd Sweeter, attempting to pass into the end zone. That ball was nearly intercepted by number 26, Ron Packnett, the number five, Courtney Hawkins. Number 64, Tim Pullum, putting pressure on the quarterback that time. Anyway, incomplete, fourth down, six yards to go. Big play. It's a bucket here timeout with 802 left here in the first quarter. Back 
kickoff taken by number seven for the Buccaneers, Sam Wesley, on about the 27-yard line. He returned it to about... Check it, he took it on the 17-yard line, returned it to about the 29, so about a 12-yard return. Check in at Buccaneer offense, first and 10 from their own 29-yard line. Eugene McBride, back to pass. Oh, that pass incomplete. Just out of the reach of number five, Courtney Hawkins. Number 32, John Delage, was defending for Davidson. All for none. Fox stops with 7.27 left. Second down, still 10 yards to go for the Buccaneers. Lance Young, the center over the ball, pull him and lots at the guard, Stewart and Brown at the tackles, Wesley and rushing at the end for the box. McBride handed off to number 20, Dwayne Harris. He gets to about the 34, gain of about five yards, make it third down and about five to go for the box. So about a five-yard return for Pickett. That play had promise, but Stewart broke through that wall. Davidson's ball, first and ten from their own 44-yard line. Kevin Williams, I believe, took that handoff. Pick up a three yards on that play, make it second down. Seven yards to go for Davidson. All right, all right. Number 41, Roy Hall took that handoff, went straight ahead. He was stopped by number 51, defensive end MacArthur White for the Buccaneers. Let's set that Buccaneer defense. That's the starting center guy, James Winlow, number 76. The tackles, Alton Bullock, 72. Sean Houston, 62. Defensive end, William Anderson, 82. MacArthur White, 51. Number 32 took the handoff for Davidson. Pull back John Delage. Courtney Hawkins, number five, was there on the defense, along with a couple of his Buccaneer buddies. We got a timeout, official timeout. The ball is close enough for a measurement. Let's go! 
yard line. Makes it fourth down and about 14 yards to go for the Cards, and they take a timeout to think about what they want to do. Will go for it, all resting at about the 32 yard line. Sweeter back to pass. John Delage, number 32, took that pass from Sweeter. And he fell for, short of that first down marker, and the Buccaneers take over on down. Sweeter was about, check that, Delage was about four yards short of that first down marker. Play number 30, Jason Taylor took the handoff. Got the ball up to about the 25 yard line, but penalty flag and the officials are discussing. The penalty and apparently it will be marked off against the Cardinals. of the penalty against the Cardinals is illegal helmet contact, more popularly known as sparing. Ball down the 40-yard line, first and 10 for the Buccaneer offense. pitch out or a pitch forward or whatever by McBride was nowhere near the hands of the Buccaneer offensive back and as a result, fumble results in number 91 for the Cardinals recovering that ball. That was Eric Fisherman. The Cards have it first and ten. Weiner back to pass. Intercepted by Number seven, Aaron. That's Raiders' thought. He's looking right at it. All right, Mario. Good job. He's tripped up by number 77, Aaron Johnson. I don't know why. Wesley might have gone all the way. Buccaneers take over on this sudden exchange of downs. Possession, excuse me. That's the end of the first quarter. With a score of six for the Cardinals and nothing for the Buccaneers. tackle to prevent what may have been a quick touchdown for the Buccaneers. That ball is spotted on about the 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Buccaneers. Number five, Courtney Hawkins took the handoff. He was met by number 12, first of all, for the Cardinals, Mark Pickett. He got some help from his Cardinal buddies. As a result, Hawkins picked up only about a yard. We'll call it second down and a short nine. Make that two yards. Pick up second and eight. McBride handing off to Sam. Gap between the left guard and the sound. Five yards to go for the Bucks. 
Bucks badly need this five yards to sustain some sort of offense here in the beginning of the second quarter. Timeout call by the Buccaneers here appears to be some confusion among the offensive team members. Well, the Buccaneer record coming into today's ball game overall was five wins and one loss. Your record includes... Tied for second place in the Big Nine with a four win, one loss record. Kevin Williams! Nicely conceived 
Great play by the Cardinals. Number 40, Keith Williams, made the tackle for the Buccaneers, but not before Williams picked up a lot of yards. Moved that ball into Buccaneer territory at about the 48-yard line. First and 10 for the Cardinals. And off to the fullback number 32, John Delage. Right side of that Davison offensive line, Donald Godfrey at guard, number 72, David Figgins at tackle number 69, tight end Terry Burdan, number 81, providing the blocking for Delage. Pick up a three yards, make it second down and seven to go for the Cardinals. Oh, losing football. Hand off once again to number 32, John Delage, but exceptional defensive work by that Buccaneer defense. James Whitlow, Sean Houston, William Anderson, Ernest Stewart, and a whole cast of Buccaneers on that tackle. Pick up one yard, third down, six yards to go. Number 41, Roy Hall, took that pitch out for Todd Sweener, the quarterback, just as Sweener was hit, and he dragged number five, Courtney Hawkins, into the end zone with him, and that puts the cards up in an exciting football game by a score of 12 to 8. And now they have to decide whether they're going to go for one or two points here. No they're going for a couple. Sweeter back to pass. Oh, what a, what a defensive play. Number 40, Keith Williams. Out of that ball away just before. The Davidson receiver was about to haul it in. Brilliant play by number 40, Keith Williams. Number 65, Matt Thomas will boot the ball for the Cardinals. Nice kickoff by Thomas. Number six took that kickoff for the Buccaneers. Sam Wesley started out about the 13 yard line, brought the ball up to about the 37. And number 65, Matthew Thomas, who kicked off, made a touchdown saving tackle. First and 10 for the Bucks. Number five, Courtney Hawkins took the handoff. Took that ball up to about the 44 yard line. Pick up of six, make it second and four. Hand off to... Hand off to number 20, Dwayne Harris. Number 91 for Davidson. Making a sparkly defensive play, Eric Fisherman. Pick up about one yard. Third down, about three yards to go. Want to correct the number. Number seven is Sam Wesley. Number six made that nice kickoff return. Luane Harris, brother of Dwayne Harris. Courtney Hawkins tripped 
stopped in the backfield, regained his balance, and he comes close to that first down marker. I think it's going to be close enough for a measurement. Yes, the official indicated timeout. The officials for today's football game, all from Owasso, the referee Jim Nemec, umpire Randy Nesbitt, linesman Bob Brown, and line judge Rob Delisle. Check that, Robin Leslie. Crucial measurement here. Oh, it's about two inches short. I think. It is so close that even the officials are having a difficult time determining whether or not it's a first down, but they rule that it is not a first down. That brings up a fourth down and nice time to bust some around the less than an inch or two for the Buccaneers to make that first down and keep this drive alive. They're down now by four points. 7.08 left in the first half. Again, the outside will be open. Outside will definitely be open on this play. Buccaneers will go for it. Little doubt about that. Hand off to number 20, Dwayne Harris. It's close, but it appears that he made it. Referees will take a timeout. And it is a first down for the Buccaneers. Outside would have been wide First and ten, Bucks at the 49-yard line of their own side of the field. McBride hands off to Harris. Beautiful defensive play by number 23, Jeffrey Parr for the Davidson Cardinals. One of the leading scorers in the area of in area football, one of the fastest men in the Big Nine, Dwayne Harris, and Parr made a beautiful shoestring tackle. About a five-yard loss, second down now for the Bucks, and 15 yards to go. He did that last time, he'd have been gone. He did that last time, he'd have been gone. He'd been in his own. We'd be kicking the ball off right now. McBride back to pass. Interception. That ball right in the arms, number 65, Matthew Thomas. Thomas having a standout game. And a tackle made by number 82, William Anderson. Guards are in business. Ball is now at about the 28-yard line, first and 10. Check in at Davidson offense, Johnson at center, Thomas and Godfrey at the guards, Lauren and Figgins at the tackle, Pickett and Jordan at the end. Hold him this time, defense. Hand off to number 41, Roy Hall. He follows the blocking of Johnson, Godfrey, and Figgins. Picks up about five yards, second and five. Buccaneer defense with MacArthur, White, Bullock, Whitlow, Pullum, and Packnett on that left side making the stop. Almost a straight ahead dive by number 30. Two, John Delage. Number 70, Ernest Stewart is there. Number 82, William Anderson. Pick up of a yard, maybe third down and four. 
Buccaneers have got the ball. Number five, Percy Hawkins fell on that loose ball. Well, both teams mistake prone today. Can't blame the weather. Beautiful. First and ten for the Bucks and about their own 19-yard line. All right. Uh, beautiful running by the run. Buccaneer halfback. Number five, Courtney Hawkins lowered his head, plowed straight ahead, picked up about three yards after being hit by the Davidson defenders. Number 65, Matthew Thomas and a couple of his buddies in on that tackle. Gain of about eight yards by Hawkins on a beautiful run, second and two for the Bucks. Loose ball, but I believe the whistle is long. Nearly a straight ahead dive by the Buccaneers that time. They pick up the first down. Ball resting on a 31 yard line now, the Buccaneers. 3.39 here left in the first half. Clock running.
Courtney Hawkins intercepted the ball. And you saw it, he wiggled free. <laughs> Tackle made by number 23, Jeffrey Carr, I believe, on the far sideline. Penalty apparently will be assessed against the Buccaneers on the run back. And I believe it's going to be an illegal block below the weight. I'd like to ask all the escorts for members of the 1986 feature homecoming court to begin to make your way to the feature sideline. Fifteen-yard penalty moves that ball back to the 35-yard line. Nonetheless, the Buccaneers are still smiling. They've got the ball on the turnover. First and right stand from about their own 35-yard line. Just add more stats. More stats. Let's go now. And I do know about stats. Make some legs, Papa. All by yourself, I'm saying. McBride hand off to number 20, Dwayne Harris. Play action, Sam. Let's go. Check that number 30, Jason Taylor. Pick up of about four yards on that play. Second and six for the Buccaneers. 1.30 left in the first half. Bucks are out of timeout. <laughs> McBride back to pass. McBride's pass. Headed for number 20, Dwayne Harris, broken up by number 23, Jeffrey Parr, who's having a great game for the Cardinals. Jason McBride around, we're number 69, David Figgins, and number 91, Eric Fisherman for the Cards. Want to ask all the escorts once again of the members of the 1986 Beecher Homecoming Court to make their way to the sideline for the halftime festivities. That pass to Hawkins, he sort of waltzes his way up to about the 46 yard line, but we got a penalty flag on the play and it might be an illegal procedure against the Buccaneers. Minute nine left here in the first half in what has proved to be very exciting Big Nine football. Between two teams that appear at this point to be evenly matched as their four and one conference records would indicate. The illegal procedure is the call against the Buccaneers. Takes the ball back to the Buccaneers side of the 35 yard line, make it third down and about 11 yards to go. That pass. Lead the man, G. Ball take complete. It was intended for number seven, Sam Wesley. Number 17. Dennis Schultes, or Schultes, was the Davidson defender who broke up that pass play. Dennis Schultes was the defender on that last play. McBride. Got the punt away. The ball is killed on about the 44-yard line of the Cardinals. They'll take over with less than a minute to go in the first half. Once again, will all the part this year's 1986 homecoming. Hey, Nobody gets Number 41, Roy Hall, 
did the running for Davison on that last play. Number 64, the linebacker Tim Pullum made the initial hit for the Buccaneers. Penalty will be assessed against the Buccaneers. The call, we believe, will be illegal participation. Too many men on the field. First down for the Cardinals. That gives the Cardinals a first down at about the 41 yard line. 33 seconds left in the first half. Sweeter back to pass and it's complete. The number 98. Kevin Williams and number 26, Pac Nett, made the stop for the Buccaneers. Second down, five yards to go for the Cardinals. They'd love to punch it in before halftime. Weiner back to pass. That pass was complete to number 12, Mark Pickett, the split in. He was tackled by number 64, linebacker Tim Pullen for the Bucks. Clock stop with the Cardinals picking up a first down. Ball will be spotted about the 30-yard line, first and 10 for the Cards. Sweeners pass, ten of number twelve field. picket just out of his grasp, almost a brilliant pass play. Defending number twenty, I believe, Dwayne Harris on that play now playing defense for the Bucks. Shit, that's stupid. Buccaneers are going to be penalized though. Folks, these cars have got to be moved. You hear your license plate and the description of your car, you're going to have to move it or the police are going to have it moved for you. Blue Chevrolet, license plate, 120 SJP. Gray Chevrolet, 011 EXV. Suburban, 154 JMY or V. Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser 931CYB and a Trans Am Pontiac license plate number 173RPD. You need to move those cars or they will be towed according to the police department. First down now, five yards to go for the cards. Swainer back to pass. Seventeen holds that ball in. Check that number eleven, Steve Ash, at the quarterback position, passing to number seventeen, Todd Sweener, and Sweener takes it in for the touchdown, putting the Cardinals ahead. By a score of 18 to 15, with only four seconds remaining in the first half. Kick is up for the cards. It's good. Kick by number 69, David Biggins, who plays right back. Urban. License plate number 154 JMV or JMY. Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser 931 CYB and a Trans Am Pontiac license plate 
number 173RPD. Those vehicles need to be moved or they will be ticketed and towed or both. At the end of the first half, exciting football, the Cardinals leave the field, leading the Buccaneers by a score of 19 to 15. Kickoff by Davidson to begin the second half. Taken by number five, Courtney Hawkins. Courtney nearly breaks free. Tackled by number 85, Terry Randolph. Check in that Buccaneer offense, Davidson defense. First and 10 for the Bucs from about the 44-yard line. Big 10 football score at the end of the first quarter. Iowa 7, Michigan 3. All right! Buccaneers pick up about two yards in that play, make it second down and eight yards to go for the Bucks. <laughs> McBride's pass to number 30, Jason Taylor. Taylor's knee hit the ground at about the 45-yard line. No pickup on the play. In fact, loss of about a half a yard. Make it third down and a long eight yards to go for the first down for the Bucks. to number 20, Dwayne Harris. He goes through the right guard, right tackle position. Picks up about five yards. Take a fourth down, five yards to go for the Buccaneers. Obvious punting situation. McBride drops back to punt for the Bucks. And deep for Davidson, number 17, Todd Sweeter. 41, Roy Hall. by McBride. Taken by number 12, Todd, check that, number 12, Mark Pickett. And the cards are driven deep in their own territory. The ball marked at about the 11 or 12 yard line, first and 10 for the cards. Number 23 took that hand off. And maybe he wished he wouldn't have. That was Jeffrey Parr with a bruising tackle put on Parr by number 70, Ernest Stewart. Parr picked up four yards nonetheless for the cards, making it second and six. Number 23, I believe, Carr took that handoff from quarterback number 17, Todd Sweener. Gain of maybe a yard. Make it third down, five yards to go for Davidson. I'd like to apologize, there were many times in the first half when Steve Ash played the quarterback position for Davidson. carrier again. We 
55, Lance Young. Number 45, Reggie Bradford, making nice defensive plays for the Bucks. Fourth down, starts Wilpon. Aaron Johnson will punt the ball for Davidson, number 77. Ball is taken at the 50 yard line by Dwayne Harris. Davidson Tacklers, and number 85, Terry Randolph made the stop for Davidson, but the Buccaneers are in great field position right now with the ball resting at about the 37 yard line. First and 10, Beecher. Once again, we want to apologize, Mark Ash, Steve Ash, rather, played quarterback much of the time for Davidson in the first half. Little gain that time by the Buccaneer offense. Number 69, David Figgins, leading the defensive charge for the Davidson Cardinals. Pick up a will say a yard, second down, nine yards to go for Beecher. gets the handoff, but he doesn't go very far. Richard Lauren, number 71, and Aaron Johnson, number 77, along with a lot of their buddies making a nice defensive effort. Pick up a maybe one year, one more yard, make a third down and eight to go for the Buccaneers who take a timeout right now. Second quarter score, Iowa 10, Michigan 3. All right. Good job to number 20, Dwayne Harris. Takes the ball down to left the 28 yard line. First down. That's a first. That's a first. Indeed it is. First down for the Buccaneers. <laughs> that tackle was made by number 17, Todd Sweener. First and ten. Looks to us here in the announcer's booth that it was a false start by the Buccaneers. Five-yard penalty marked off against the Buccaneers makes it first down now and 15 yards to go. Ball resting at about the 32-yard line. We the punish, of course. Courtney Hawkins with a brilliant move gets around the right hand for significant yardage before he's pushed out of bounds by number 12, Mark Pickett. Pick up of nine yards.
Pick up a 14 yards on that play with a five yard penalty and make it second down and one yard to go for the Buccaneers. Courtney Hawkins with the ball again. Penalty flag on the play. Once again, the Cardinals are going to be assessed a penalty entitled illegal use of the helmet, more commonly known as spearing. And it's going to cost the cards a bunch of yards. Big Ten score, Minnesota 16, Indiana 6. Ball now resting on the nine yard line. First and goal to go for the Bucks. The officials are taking a timeout. The timeout is up. Security, please go to the northwest side of the field. Davidson fans, we have to ask you to move away from the playing field on the northwest side of the field. Davidson fans, please move away from the playing field. Buccaneers have a first down. At about the nine yard line. The ball popped loose, and that ball was recovered by number 23, Jeffrey Parr. Jeffrey Parr, number 23, with credit him with the fumble recovery. Cards now have the ball at about the 15-yard line, first and 10. That pitch out to number 41, Roy Hall, almost went for big yardage. Big of a five yards, though. Second down, five yards to go for the Cardinals, who have the ball and a four-point lead in this football game. About five minutes now left in the third quarter. Number 30 took the handoff for Davison, Rick Rubio, and the stop made by 82, William Anderson. 
Third down now, big third down play, four yards to go. And penalty flag down. The illegal procedure is the call against Davidson. That will cost them five yards. That makes it third down and a long eight yards to go for the cards to get the first down. Number 11, Steve Ashes pass, intended for number 12, Mark Pickett. And number 24, Martin Williams with a beautiful tackle on that play. Forces Davidson into a punting situation. Fourth down and deep in their own territory. High stop! That gives the Bucks two points on the safety and the Cards will be forced to punt the ball. Number 77, That makes the score 19 for Davidson, 17 for the Bucks. Only two points separate these football teams down. And a field goal becomes a potential game-winning score now. Deep for feature, number 20, Harris, number 6. Also Harris, Lewayne Harris, and number seven, Sam Wesley. Harris has the ball and about the 37. Fumble. Perhaps there was not a fumble on that play. I believe that the officials marked the ball dead, ruled that the ball was dead before the ball squirted loose. But there's also a flag on the play, so we'll let the men in the strike shirts figure it out and we'll try to relay to you the information. Number six, Luane Harris took that ball on about the 37 yard line and took it to Davidson's 42. That was a return of about 21 yards. Penalty is going to be assessed against the Buccaneers and it's a big one. Personal foul is the call. That takes the ball back into Beecher territory at about the 41 yard line where the Buccaneers will take over first down and 10. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Lance Young at the center, Tim Fulham and Courtney Lott to the guards, Ernest Stewart, Julian Brown at the tackle. Courtney Hawkins takes the handoff. He gets the ball up to about the 45 yard line. Reggie 
Bradford, number 45, now into the ball game. Hand off to number 20, Harris. He's up close to the first down at about the 50 yard line. Third down, one yard to go for the Buccaneers. McBride handed off to Courtney Hawkins and he picked up enough yardage for that first down. First and 10 now for the Bucks at about the 47 of Davidson. Two and a half left in the third quarter. Hand off to number seven, Sam Wesley. He was tripped up by number 77, Aaron Jensen. Pick up a few yards on that play, makes second and eight. Ball now at the 45 yard line. Jason Taylor and Lawan Harris back into the Beecher offensive team. Anderson and Rushing come off the field. McBride back to pass. Ball is all the way down to the 28 yard line. Number 17, Todd Sweeter made the tackle. Buccaneers pick up a lot of yards. First and 10 for the Bucks. The ball is marked at about the 26 yard line of, of Davidson. Now let's punch this right now, right now. Dwayne Harris barely got that hand off. Cut to the right, cut to the left. Picked up about five yards. Makes it second down and about five to go for Beecher. He'd have been gone if it wasn't for that same. Eugene McBride does not get the handoff into the arms of his halfback and number 69 David Figgins for Davidson broke through the offensive line and hauled McBride down for a loss of about four yards. Third and nine now for the Bucks. That's it, that's the end of the third quarter. One more to go, 12 minutes of football left, and now only two points separate these two teams. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce this is the end of the quarter, fellas. I'd like to introduce the members of this year's cheerleading squad. Ladies, let us know who you are. First of all, 11th grader Michelle Woodlow. 9th grader Cassandra Talbert. 9th grader Danico Kelly. 11th grader Tracy Payton. 9th grader Yakitha Fields. 11th grader Sonia Randall, 9th grader Angela Brooks, 11th grader Tawana Woody, 9th grader Tanika Evans, Nigel Hines, senior, Kathy Walker Bay is the 10th grader, Sharice Heron, a junior, Tanika Johnson, freshman, 
Tia Curry, senior, and to Wana Watson, ninth grader. Nice job, ladies. Wayne Harris attempted to run straight ahead with little success. That brings up a fourth down situation for the Bucks. And let's say eight yards to go. And the Bucks want a timeout to decide what to do. Once again, we want to remind you that the winner Buccaneers face the fourth down and eight yards to go situation. They're down by two. Ball is resting on about the 24 and a half yard line. Big play. Big fly back to pass. Penalty flag down. That pass obviously was short of its intended target. Penalty will be assessed against the Buccaneers. Cards may choose to decline the penalty. Blocking below the waist penalty against Beecher is declined by Davidson, and they take over the football on down. First and ten. Check in that card to Lawson. Major defense. Big up in the door of the Steve Ash handed off to number 23, Jeffrey Parr. He was tackled by number 70, Ernest Stewart. Penalty flag on the play. Penalty marked off against the Buccaneers. Base mask is the call. That gives the Cardinals free 15 yards and makes it second down now and five yards to go for that first down for the Cards. Ball resting at about the 30 yard line now. And the ball for the cards, that's Kevin Williams. And Kevin got enough yardage for that first down. Ball on the 37 yard line, first and 10 for the Davison Cardinals now. Time quickly becoming a factor with 10.22 remaining in the football game. the handoff. Number 40, Keith Williams, and number 5, Courtney Hawkins, helping to stop Roy Hall. One yard pickup by Hall. Means the cards now have a second down and nine yard to go situation. Raiders, 
complete. Winner's pass complete to number 32, the fullback, John Delage. Courtney Hawkins made the stop. But for the Bucs, it was too late. Tires pulled the ball into Buccaneer territory. They have a first down now at the feature 47 yard line. That was student body right for the Cardinals, number 98. Quinn Williams carried the ball. Picked up three or four yards, making second down now, and six yards to go. defensive work. That results in about a four-yard loss for the Cardinals. Make it third down and ten yards to go. Big play. Pass. Back to pass. Pick up a first down. Ball at about the 34-yard line, first and 10 for Davidson. Hand off to number 98. up about six yards, make it second down, four yards to go for Davidson. <laughs> 23, Mark Pickett, picking up valuable yardage for the Cardinals. Near the first down marker, indeed it is the first down for Davidson. Cards now have the ball at about the Buccaneer 22 yard line, first and 10. A little more than eight minutes left in this football game, only two points separating these teams. Fumble! That fumble squirted out of bounds before anybody recovered it. Davison will retain possession of the football. They lost about six yards, make it second and 16 now. Shit. Get a rush on Get somebody out there. Shit. Kill them. Shit. You want to pass? That's what you should have done. You want that? Exactly eight minutes remaining in the football game. Back to pass. He was rushed by number 50. Number 50, Elton 
the key person responsible for disrupting Davison's plans on that last offensive play. Davison takes the time out here. Second down will face them with 16 yards to go in time.
the ball fall incomplete, and the Cardinals will take over on downs at midfield. That was probably a lucky break for the Cards that all dropped that ball because it gave them about eight yards that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Anyway, check in the Davidson offense, feature defense. First and ten for the Cards from their own 48-yard line. Number 98, Kevin Williams gets the handoff. Tackled by number 55, Lance Young, and number 24, Martin Williams. Pick up of maybe three yards on that play. Second and seven for Davison. Davison takes the timeout. back to number 41, Roy Hall, and he turned it loose. Nearly intercepted by Ron Pecknett, number 26, and Courtney Hawkins, number 5. All that excitement ends, and the ball is returned to about the 49-yard line, third down. And about 8 yards to go for the cards. 5-13 remaining in the football game. Roy Hall gets the handoff. Tripped up by number 64, Tim Fulham. Cardinals now have a fourth down and two yards to go situation. And it appears that they will punt the ball. Aaron Johnson, number 77, boots the ball for Davidson. Number 7, Sam Wesley, signals for the fair catch. On about the 15-yard line, the ball squirted out of his hands. He recovered immediately. Buccaneers will take over on about the 17-yard line, first and 10. Coach Davis, will you please pick up the headphones? Bucks break out of it, they badly need a score. Double reverse, Courtney Hawkins ended up scoring. He was nearly reverse. stopped in the backfield by number 91, Fisherman. But the guy sniffed that one out. Stopped Hawkins for a two-yard loss. Check that, a two-yard gain. Second down, eight yards to go for the Bucks. McBride back to pass. Pass complete to Courtney Hawkins. Forced out of 65, Matthew Thomas. And we're going to have a measurement.
touchdown for the Buccaneers. Three oh seven remaining in this football game. Anybody's football game right now. Ball is resting at about the 29 yard line. Hey man, they got a mirror on the sideline over there. McBride back to pass. Complete the pass.
pickup of about 18 yards. Number 12, Mark Pickett in the vicinity to force Harris out of bounds. Third down, 20 yards to go. Nick Fry back to pass once again. for Courtney Hawkins. Shit. Number 41, Roy Hall. Near Hawkins to help break up that play. Maybe their last attempt. Those hard-working 
Ladies and gentlemen, you help me get your football a success. It's number 55, Lance Young, coming off the field. Cards will have second down and 20 yard to go situation, but they're not concerned about the yardage at this point. Concerned about the clock. Number 17, Todd Sweener. Falls to the ground. Clock will run. It appears there's nothing that the Buccaneers can do at this point. That ends a terrific football game.